What's up guys? Today we're doing a prep update after I think uh, maybe like a month man. This probably could have been you know two separate show day vlog and then a prep update but I just didn't have enough footage. Competed uh, yesterday and last week. So last week I did WFF Kezon. <laughs> Was it this one? I think this is the medal, yeah. So this is the medal and then they gave me a certificate of participation. So if you guys haven't seen this on my Instagram or I think I also posted it on Facebook, I competed in the natural. Take note, this is uh, technically an untested fed and their natural category also didn't have any testing. So let's just say uh, it got weird. So I did men's physique for the first time in four years. So I wanted to check if I've been able to bring up my weak points, which have all pretty much been my upper body. So uh, my chest and my back, my delts, my arms. They seem to have caught up quite well. I got a Certificate of Participation. I'll try to throw in some clips. Um, they threw me in last call outs. I think they threw me in last place because again, this this is not a tested fed. It's just a natural category. So I guess they thought I was a fake natty. I asked the judges for feedback and they were asking, why would you join the natural category? You're not natural. We know what the natural is. And I was just like, what the fuck, bro? Um, I know I'm natural. They can drug test me if they want. Unfortunately, they don't have any drug tests. You get a lot of people telling you you should take it as a compliment that they're, you know, they're calling you a fake natty that they think you should have joined and you should have won if you participated in the open, um, the enhanced category. Which is kind of okay, I guess, if you think about it that way. But when you're looking at it go a bit deeper these are just my personal thoughts when i think about it it kind of says you know they're belittling the natty community they think they know what a natural looks like or they think they know what a natural should look like and these are judges who have or not not even just the judges but you know most of the time when you get judged this Way. Most of the time, it just says that they don't believe a natural competitor could be, you know, on the same stage as an enhanced athlete. And I guess it just kind of sucks to think that there are people out there who probably haven't given being a natural for an extended period of time. They haven't really given it a shot. And now they're the ones determining who they think is not you and who they think is not. And I guess what upset me was that, again, they did call it a natural category. And I do appreciate having that because there's really not a lot of natural shows. This is still an opportunity for most people, but it does kind of suck when they're calling it a natural competition. But in reality, um, it's a who looks the most natural competition that seemed to have been what they were using as their criteria which does not make sense to me but that's that um i did you know i did my best uh, i think i looked my best at least for physique that was that was no doubt the best i could have looked so i'm happy with that I also got to compete on the same stage with my clients. Although, again, because they did kick me into the last callouts, um, we weren't able to get a proper photo together. All good, that was a test show to test my peak, and I nailed it, and to check on my weak points, and I think it looked great. And there, uh, to hang out with my clients on stage and off stage. So that was also good. And then just yesterday, we got Hey! Oh yeah, we did a muscle contest, Philippines. So that probably one of the 
bigger, if not the biggest shows available here in terms of bringing in like an international network, like an international talent pool. I did, obviously I did bodybuilding for this because there is no way I am keeping up in physique. Not, not at this level, not, not for sure not at this level. So we did under 75 kg bodybuilding. And we got a silver medal. We got second place. I'm still gonna ask for feedback from the judges. I still wanna know the scores. I thought I thought the guy who won it deserved it, but I also felt like depending on what the judges were looking for, there was a small but not insignificant chance that I could have gotten it, I think. But that was a, you know, that was a great show. Super well run, like very professionally run, except it took forever. Great venue, great lighting, absolutely. Backstage was huge. And again, it was really nice just having, similar to what I said in the past video, it's different being able to compete whether locally or internationally athletes that have traveled all the way from wherever they might have come from to join a show you know they're taking it seriously they're not going to be wasting their money to travel so for shows like this you can definitely expect quality athletes coming in i wouldn't have cared if i was outside the top five i mean i would have cared because i did spend money and I don't go into shows expecting to lose badly but let's just say if I if it if it were stacked like if, if there were really a lot of athletes I would not mind being outside the top five so this was once again a surprise to me to be able to get this silver medal from the top five I think I was the only local guy and uh, I'll be kind of honest being so you know being second place that meant I didn't have to go to the overall <laughs> and uh, I didn't have to get my ass handed to me but it would have been fun I would have still done it but that just kind of saved me the, the embarrassment of being 140 pounds against 200 pounders so that was a uh, two very different shows you get one with a supposed natural category throws me in last place um, and <laughs> joining an untested show <laughs> getting second place that is just weird stuff but it is what it is that is most likely the last show uh, last local show of the season and then we take it to the main show the so job's not done I am just Filming this real quick, very minimal effort on my end so we can get back to do some steps, to do some training. And going back to the actual prep updates, we are 12 weeks in. Yeah, I think we are just about 12 weeks in starting the 13th week of prep tomorrow. Uh, last week, last week I did like a hard week. So the past few weeks, I've, I've been holding steady between 1.4 to 1.6. If you remembered, when I started from a mini cut, it was around 1,400 to 1,500 and 15,000 steps. And then for the last three to four weeks, I actually dialed it down. I dialed down my steps from that 15,000 to around 10 to 12. I increased my food from the 1.4s closer to 1.6 maybe like 1650 and last week that was when i did like three hard days so three days at 16 and 15 
thousand steps and it's just weird it wasn't so bad when i was doing it a few weeks back but when i did it last week i was just like shit it was it was hard like those were some real hard days on the deficit luckily that was only for three days then i practically had like a you know a diet break essentially the past two days and uh, i'm gonna keep that going today and then for the next few weeks, most likely just going back to that more conservative 1.6 to 1.7 and maybe 10 to 12k steps. There's really not much fat left to lose. Uh, still a significant amount, but I don't think I'll be you know, chasing too much conditioning. I'm, I'm not trying to let myself melt on my final show. I, I, I don't want to look, you know, look too flat too small so i'm gonna try to find a good balance i think i'm you know pretty close most of the way there already so we'll take it easy at least for the next maybe two weeks and then for the next few weeks leading up to that show we're you know we're gonna have to reassess so i will have to throw in a new prep update by then other than that mood has been much better training has still been good it has been it, it i wouldn't call it suffering uh it's been going down <laughs> a little bit uh, i've been for my compound lifts it's definitely not looking its best because i have had to go another half a belt size either which is weird because it's half a belt size so i have to either lose more weight case I will most likely be losing more weight for the other movement it's just me feeling more flat I wouldn't say often but there are just some sessions or some movements where I just take a while to get a pump my numbers have been okay it's just that say the mind muscle connection has been a little bit off but with more food in me these past few days I uh, do think at least for the next week at least for the next maybe five to six training sessions i will i will at least i hope be getting better sessions or better quality sessions in yeah that that that's it for this week's uh rep update i'm a little bit brain dead i'm still processing my thoughts on yesterday's show still trying to recover from the fatigue of traveling and of competing so if you liked this video as usual just leave a thumbs up uh, leave a comment if you have any questions there and uh, subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one.